students, welcome to my channel. I am Sir Mario G. Duenas Jr., today years old, happily married with one child. I created this channel to help you answer your mathematics module. Um, I know that you and your parents are having a hard time in answering and understanding the mathematics module. Kung noon nga na may nagpapaliwanag pang guro, ay nahihirapan kayong intindihin ang lesson at sagutan ng mga task ngayon pa kaya nawala, di ba? So, the primary goal of this channel is may paramdam sa inyo na meron pa rin guro na nagpapaliwanag na nagtuturo sa harapan ninyo sa kabila ng pandemic na meron tayo ngayon. So, sana makatulong ito at tara, simulan na natin. Hello students! Uh, before we move on to the module 2, let us have a short recall with what you've learned in module 1. So, the module 1 is about arithmetic sequence and this, uh, this sequence is, is a sequence where each term after the first term is obtained by adding the common difference. So, remember that the pattern in the sequence is addition. Okay? And the n term formula is a sub n or the nth term is equal to a sub 1 the first term plus the difference of n and 1 times the common difference so, let's this example. example number one the sequence 2 5 8 11 and so on as you can see this sequence has a common pattern and it is increasing and the pattern is addition. So, that is what we call the common difference. This sequence is increasing and in number 2, 16, 10, 4, and so on, this sequence is decreasing. These two sequences are both examples of arithmetic sequence. Looking at this, we will have our initial idea that this sequence has a common difference of positive since it is increasing and this sequence has a common difference of a negative number since it is decreasing. So, what is the common difference in this? What do you add to 2 to make it 5? What do you add to 5 to make it 8? And what do you add to 8 to make it 11? And that number is 3. So, removing the 3 would be the same as, or removing the positive would be the same as this because 3 is already a positive number. But you, will, you can have this solution uh, in uh, identifying your common difference uh, in another way. So you, you you may use the second term subtracted by the first term. Or you may use the third term minus the second term which is by. So all of this will give you positive 3. So uh, with this sequence in number 2, 16, 10, 4, and so on. So it decreases by what number? 16 became 10 and 10 became 4. So obviously it decreases by 6. So therefore, the common difference is negative 6. You may also use this method in identifying or determining your common difference by, by having the second term 10 minus the first term 16. So it is always subtraction. 10 minus 16, 10 minus 16 would be negative 6. The same with 4 minus 10, negative 6. So, that's it. That's how to determine the common difference. How about if we are going to use, or when are we going to use the nth term formula? Obviously, if you will be asked to find missing terms. Example, in this sequence, we only have 2, 5, 8, and 11. We know that 2 is the first term, and 11 is the fourth term. What if you will be asked to find the seventh term of this sequence? So that's the time that we're going to use the n term formula. Okay? By solving the, the seventh term, it would be a sub 7 is equal to your first term. So in this sequence, your first term is 2 plus so your n, the n term that you're solving is the 7th term. So therefore, this n will be 7 minus 
this is a constant number, minus 1, and then times the common difference. The common difference is the 3. So, uh, simplifying this would be the value of the 7th term. So, 7 subtracted by 1 is 6 times 3 is equal to 18. Added to 2 is equal to 20. Therefore, the 7th term would be 20. So, by checking, let us have uh, this sequence. If we are going to check if our answer is correct, 2, 5, 8, 11, and we have here 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th term. We have the 5th, the 6th, and the 7th term. This is our answer, the 7th term. Okay, let's check. Let's add the common difference. 11 plus 3 would be 14. 14 plus 3 would be 17. 17 plus 3 would be 20. Therefore, the 7th term is really 20. And our answer is correct. So, students, that is how you're going to apply the end term formula of our arithmetic sequence. And how about in this example? What about if you are asked to find, uh, let's have the 6th term. The 6th term of this sequence. Okay? By using the formula, we will have a sub 6 is equal to, our first term would be, in this is 16 plus, we are looking for the 6th term, therefore it is 6 minus 1 times the common difference, negative 6. Okay, don't forget to enclose it in, in parentheses because it is negative. So therefore, it is equal to 6 minus 1, we will follow Jandas or, or PEMDAS rule, doing first the parentheses. 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 times negative 6 is negative 30. Then, add this to 16. So, 16 plus negative 30, obviously, it would be negative 14. Okay, let's do the checking. If this is really the 6th term, we have here 16, 10, and 4. We have the 4th term, 5th term, and answer. This is our 6th term. Okay? So, let's do adding the common difference. 4 plus negative 6 Positive plus negative would be negative 2. Negative 2 plus negative 6, it would be negative 8. And negative 8 plus negative 6 is negative 14. Therefore, our answer is correct. Okay?